Lynchy, another two big points at the weekend. A hard fought game down at Kilmarnock. It wasn't pretty at times, but how did you see it? Yeah, it's a, it's a difficult place to go. Um, I think they'll definitely take points off teams this year in that rink. Um, you've just got to make sure when you go in there that you're not one of those teams that it happens to. But um, I'm pretty good friends with their coach Andy Anderson. Andy told me three or four years ago that he was going to flood the team with kids and there'd be pain in the beginning. But, you know, with given time, they put together a pretty competitive team and that's what they're doing now. That In that difficult little rink, um, they can definitely cause an upset and take some points off somebody which could have a bearing in the title race as the season goes on. And as a team, Lynch, how hard is it to adapt to a rink like that? When you, you know, you've brought in a lot of guys that have got a bit of speed, is it hard to adjust? Really difficult. You've got no time on the puck, you've got no time to adjust, you've got no time to get your head up and look around. You can't even really get your feet moving too fast because there's somebody on you straight away. So it, it is difficult, it is a challenge. But like I say, we, we, we adapted as well as we could. I think we, um, I think what helped us on Saturday night was we scored some crucial goals at crucial times. You know, we made sure we had a lead coming in at the end of the first and at the end of the second and that kind of set us up in, in good stead. And we did have a lot of chances through the game, you know, I think Ross Bobbitt hit the, the pipe in the first 20 seconds and that you know, kind of set the tone that we weren't going to make chances. So were you always confident that our firepower can they get us through it? Yeah definitely, I was, always, I was always confident we could win the game but I think the one thing that we've, we've still got to remember and people t tend to be forgetting right now is that was only our third game as a team. You know, we're still gelling as a team, we're still finding out who can do what and who ticks what boxes and so on and so forth. So it was a good team performance and a difficult situation, a difficult environment, and we're glad that we came away with two points. So we're back here training tonight at Brayhead. We're going to be here on Sunday night playing against the Paisley Pirates. What are you expecting for that game? Another difficult game. You know, there's, there's, there's no real easy games in the SNL. Um, we've got to make sure we're, we come prepared and we've got to make sure we're ready to play. But if we play our strengths and we're back on bigger ice, uh, we're hopeful that we can pick up another win. So we're getting closer to getting back to Murrayfield, it's not too far away now. How excited are you and how excited are the guys? Everyone's looking forward to it, you know, this is this little nomadic journey we've been on for the last sort of six weeks is starting to um, it's starting to get tiresome with a few of the guys. We, just, we want to get in our own building, we want to get in our own dressing room. Guys are sick of carting their, their gear around and taking their, you know, their dirty sweaty gear home at the end of practice and games and things like that. So the sooner the better, you know, we're really looking forward to getting back in, at home and um, you know, really getting started properly. So Lynch, we're sitting fifth in the league just now, we're four points off top spot, a couple of games in hand, so we're sitting nicely. Are you happy overall with the, you know, the, the couple of months that we've been back training? Are you happy with what, how we are? Like I just said, you know, we've played three games. Uh, we've, uh, one was for double points, so we've picked up six points in our first, in our first three games, which you can't ask for any more. Um, if we can get a result against Paisley on Sunday, that would give us eight points from a possible ten games before we move back into our own rink, and I don't think anyone could ask for, for better than that in all honesty. That's brilliant, Lindsay. Thanks again for chatting. We'll speak next week. No problems, mate. We're joined on Caps TV by Sean Cochran. Sean, man of the match performance on Saturday. Two goals, your first two goals as a Capitals player. How did that feel to get yourself off the mark? Yeah, it felt great to finally get off the mark. Like I put a lot of pressure on myself after I didn't score in the first two games, but it's good to get off the mark. Hopefully that gets the ball rolling now. So, see, see yourself, Sean. Do you set yourself personal goals like going into a season for goals where you would like the amount you'd like to score or do you just kind of go with it? Yeah, I kind of just go with it as long as I'm like helping the team out putting some points up where I needed and I like, just try my best every game really. So it was a tough game doing it at Kilmarnock there last week. Um, you know, I think for a player like yourself, you've got a bit of, you use your speed in that. How hard is it to adjust going into a rink like that? Oh, I've, I've never liked playing in Kelly to be honest with you because as you say, speed's probably my strong point in my game. But it's hard to adjust, it's good to grind it out though. I get a win for that. So we're back to Murrayfield very soon. So I'd imagine the big ice pad, and you'll look forward to getting out there and you know using your speed. Aye, I can't wait to play on the big ice again, especially as a home ring. It's always good. So last year you were an SL, SNL winner with the Kestrels. You've came into obviously the Caps this year. How much are you enjoying it with the guys, and is it a good bunch of guys? Oh, I'm loving it so far. I like it. it's a good new start to something. I've never moved in before, but the guys are so welcoming and they're all. Great bunch of guys like. And this weekend, Sean, we're, we're here at Brayhead again. We're playing Paisley on Sunday night. How tough a game will that be? Oh, it's always a tough game here. They've always got a strong team. I don't think I've ever came to Paisley and they've never had a strong team. So it'll be a hard fight. Hopefully get it with the two points. That's brilliant, Sean. Thanks for talking and we'll catch up with you through the season. No bother. Cheers.